In a world where communication is a key, automation is transforming the way we connect. Imagine this, you send a message on WhatsApp and instantly, an intelligent system not only recognizes the type of message, whether it's text, audio, an image, or video, but also responds thoughtfully and accurately. This is the future of seamless interaction, powered by the dynamic duo of N8N, a versatile workflow automation tool, and an AI agent that brings intelligence to your conversations. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a WhatsApp automation that does just that, analyzing incoming messages and responding with precision. Whether you're building this for customer support, marketing, or personal productivity, this automation is a game changer. Get ready to dive into the world of smart automation and discover how to make your WhatsApp interactions faster, smarter, and more engaging than ever before. Let's get started. Here's how it works. A message is sent to your WhatsApp. The automation in N8N picks up the message. The AI agent analyzes the content, whether it's text, audio, an image, or a video. Based on the analysis, the AI responds with a tailored system message. It's seamless, intelligent, and incredibly efficient. So here is the structure of overall workflow. Now let's dive in and build it from scratch. First, we add a WhatsApp trigger module. For using this, we have to generate the credentials of WhatsApp from developers, facebook.com. Here you have to log in with Facebook. After that, going to my app section here, create any of app with any of the name. I have already created the app, so open the app. Now go to app settings. Let's click on basics. Let's copy app ID and app secret and paste it to the WhatsApp trigger. Now next step is to add any of test number and your number to recipient phone number. Go to dashboard. Go to WhatsApp. Click on quick start. Click on start using API. Generate any of test number, any of recipient phone number. I have already generated, so I have used this phone number. Now next module is split out module. Here pass the message. This module is basically splits all the messages. Now next module is switch module. In this we pass the routing rules just I have assign it, you have to do the same. Now add a wait module in text with a timing delay of three seconds. Now next we assign AI agent module and this we use this text message. According to that message, the AI agent responds. Here we grab the body and JSON content like this. In this, we use Grok chat model as a chat model. To use this model, go to console.groq.com. Sign up first and generate the API key. 
and paste it to the chat model. And choose any of the model you want. Now next is to assign a memory. We use window buffer memory. Here pass the session ID and select the context window length to five. Now we use vector store tool Here we have assign name, description, and limit, like I have used these configurations. After that to store embeddings in this we use pinecone vector store. Just go through pinecone. IOS Sign up first and create index. I have already signed up. Click on create index and select these configurations. And click on create index. After that, click on API underscore key section. Generate the key and, and paste it to the pinecone module. And select that pinecone index. After that, in this we use OpenAI embedding. We have to generate OpenAI API underscore key from platform openai.com. Click on API reference. And click on API underscore keys. Login first. And generate the key and paste it to the OpenAI embeddings module. And after that, we use Grok chat model. Now, next module is WhatsApp Business Cloud module. Here we have to generate the access token and business account ID. Go to same platform, developers.com. Here go to API section, generate the access token. And copy it. And Paste it to the access token. And copy WhatsApp business account ID. And paste it to the module. After that, in this way, you send a message. Select the sending phone number. And grab the recipient phone number from WhatsApp trigger. Now pass the output in text body. Now next, we have to do when sending an audio file. Firstly, we need to download the file. 
To download, just add WhatsApp Business Cloud module with download a file. Here pass the audio ID. Now next is to add HTTP request module. In this module, we use WhatsApp API account as predefined credentials and grab the URL in URL section. Now we need to transcribe the audio to text. To do this, we add an OpenEye transcribe or recording audio module Here select resource as audio and pass the input field name as data. Now next is to add edit field module. Here add field content and pass the content like this. Now connect this edit field node with AI agent. Now next is to add a WhatsApp Business Cloud module again with download a media here pass the image ID. Now add HTTP module again, here pass the URL and use WhatsApp API predefined credentials. Now next is to add OpenAI Analyze the Image module. Here select any of model. And change input type to binary and input data field name as data. Now connect this with edit field node. Now add a WhatsApp business cloud send a message module again. Here we are selecting the number and grab recipient phone number from WhatsApp trigger and write this response that we are not dealing with video currently. Now we have successfully created a workflow. Now it's time to check it. Just click on test workflow. Now sends the message to that phone number. Here you see it responds the message. Now we test more. Here you see it responds correctly. So you see that the workflow is created and executed successfully. And there you have it, a fully functional WhatsApp automation powered by N8N and an AI agent seamlessly analyzing messages and responding intelligently. This is just the beginning of what you can achieve with automation. Whether it's simplifying workflows, enhancing customer interactions, or just making life easier, the possibilities are endless. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video. It helps us reach more creators like you. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more exciting automation tutorials. We'd love to hear from you. Comment below and let us know how you plan to use this automation or share any ideas for future tutorials. And of course, share this video with your friends, colleagues, and fellow tech enthusiasts who are ready to embrace the power of automation. Thank you for joining us on this journey. 
Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and let's automate the world together.